During the Super Tuesday, which was this week, Google has a tendency to keep track of everything that goes on on their servers, what gets hit, and what's the, the top, what they're searching for. And this last Super Tuesday, as soon as Donald Trump had apparently won several states in the Super Tuesday, the term, <laughs> how can I move to Canada, skyrocketed. In fact, it had spiked 350% in just four hours. I, I, I saw the, the stats on this, and there even when President Obama became president, the stat was not even, it was just barely a little bump about how, how can I move to Canada because, you know, we have a black president. Even in his re-election, it was still not that huge. But Trump made it fucking spike. <laughs> I, 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 I just like, wow, that is fucking hilarious. Connie, your thoughts? Yeah, uh, when George W. Bush was re-elected, it spiked higher than than Obama. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I remember all of the GOP, you know, saying, oh, we're going to move to Canada, you know, if Obama is elected or reelected. And when you see the spike, it's it's like huge. It, I don't know. Why would you <laughs> why would you leave the country? But all right. Yeah, there, uh, yeah. There, there is that joke of saying, like, uh, this president doesn't work out. I'm fucking moving to Canada. <laughs> I didn't move back in four years? What? Yeah, I, I guess. You know, that when Obama became reelected for president, Rush Limpballs, he said that if Obama becomes president again, I'm moving out of the country. He's still fucking here. So <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of this is just that people are like, oh, no, uh, if if – this person is going to be president. They automatically do the ra a sink rats from a sinking ship type thing. You know that that's Port what Canada. Yeah, Port, Port of Canada. Canada. Yeah, Port They're... Canada. <laughs> yeah, but we love Canadian bacon. Yes. Well, well, I like the, bacon. The, I don't. I, I've tried Canadian the bacon. Carnivores of us. Love yeah, Canadian. I've had Canadian bacon. I'm not. I'm not quite fond of the Canadian bacon. I just like regular bacon. Just, just, just cut up a hog and give me some just regular bacon. I'll take that. <laughs> and hockey. Yeah. Dana, your thoughts. Okay, so my first question is Did How I Moved to Canada beat searches for BBW anal? <laughs> I would think so. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Uh, <laughs> at least not from my neck of the woods. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> at least not from my IP address. So. Uh, <laughs> Apparently now there's even a new website called How Do I Move to ISIS If uh, Trump Wins. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh jeez. But the, no, the, really? No, of course not. <laughs> oh, God. It's my okay. joke. Um, <laughs> Trump yeah. becomes Trump becomes president. How can I join ISIS? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so, this this has been a weird. Well, some would argue that his movie? fans already have kind of done that, um, uh, at least ideologically, yes, yes, but. Yes. Uh, this won't actually work. It, it would be really hard to actually move to Canada uh -huh. because uh, on day one of the Trump presidency, construction starts on that wall between the United States and Canada. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh, so unless you can scale a twenty foot high wall with a with a ten foot uh, with a ten foot trench uh, dig, uh, I think you're probably going to be SOL and. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I looked this up. I did look this up myself a number of years ago, though, because someone told me that they wanted they were going to move to Canada when they got older or whatever. I, I remember the conversation it was a number of years ago, and or at, the, at some point they said, "Yeah, you better make sure you have about twenty five thousand dollars to start off with, because they won't let you emigrate to their country unless you have some coin in the bank to know that way." When you get up there, you're not going to sit there on their public dole or whatever and wait for, you know, funding to try to get you through. You have to have a job set up and you have to have cash in place. So Yeah, and, but you could just declare refugee status. <laughs> I wonder if we could do that. I, I I'm, that's a good I'm wondering now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hey brother, can you spare a Canadian dime? <laughs> 
all the well, our money's actually worth rate. more than theirs at this point, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it, yeah. Theirs is like two or three cents cheaper than ours. That's uh, that's. <laughs> So you give someone a Canadian nickel, and then they go, "Oh my God, uh, oh, I've made three cents." So. <laughs> and we I'm not even kidding on that. Borders, everybody. What? <laughs> we have we, we offend across borders. We across we we have, we're yeah. equal opportunity offender on this show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we're all about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, we would offend them, and they'd still apologize to us. So. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, not sorry. 